Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Beautiful day outside. The Azuzu's over at my daughter's house. My yard was being mowed when I came home yesterday. So I just parked over there. And as you'll see in some later videos, I parked some campers over there too. A couple of cans. Uh, so here we have the F750, 2001 F750. It's got the 5.9 Cummings eating six-speed manual transmission so we'll just do a uh, just gonna do a quick walk around show it to you guys still not sure what we're doing with it we did post it for sale I'm not trying to make any money on it just trying to get my money back because I bought it don't really need it although it is nicer with the sleeper this is just grown on me and the big thing about that is I don't know this truck. I know this truck. I've done a lot of work to this truck. You know, I've got my confidence in that truck. You know, I've got the new tires, the new turbo, brake booster, power steering pump. You know, we do our maintenance, which we gotta do this weekend. So, you know, I feel comfortable in that truck. Yeah, this one, Peterbilt 379 sleeper. It's like a friggin' mini condo, you know, but I don't know the truck yet. I mean, I'm sure if I keep it and I drive it, I'll become confident in it, but you gotta get there. So let's jump into the truck. Like I said, I did post it for sale. Some guys from Texas are interested in it. They're supposed to come up this weekend. You know, it was a guy from Knoxville supposed to come, he didn't come. So, you know, I'll put it this way. If the guys from Texas come and they buy it, good for them because it gives them the ability to get into the haul and tow. I've still got my truck. I helped a friend's wife out, you know, because she didn't have the ability to, I mean, she could put it on Craigslist or something, but, you know, she's not in all the RV groups and stuff like we guys are. And uh, so, you know, it helped her out. I'm helping somebody else out by helping them get in the, on tow side of it so you know it's nothing lost but you know if the guys don't show up or i think they'll show up but if for whatever reason they don't want to buy it then we'll keep it and heck we'll probably just put it to work might even put a driver in it who knows you know i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to be the guy to put somebody in my zuzu and makes them suffer that while i'm riding in the condo you know but so we might put a driver in it who knows but so let's jump into it and i'll show you guys the truck here Okay, here it is. It's got the uh, 22 and a half inch tires on it. Like I said, it's a 5.9 Cummings with a Peterbilt 369 sleeper. He did put it on there himself. The bed he built, of course, you know, it steps down behind the tires here. But uh, from inside the back, from the back of the sleeper, to the end, it's 23 foot. From the winch back is about 22 foot. It was like 25 foot because he had a smaller sleeper on there. Then he put the bigger sleeper on it. It's only got the one toolbox on the side. You slide out ramps back here in the back. If we keep the truck, we are going to add multiple toolboxes to this thing. Cause I like my toolboxes. Got a place for another one over here, but we can always mount them up underneath and everything. Dual tanks on it. Let's move to the inside. Does need a new driver's seat. And a good cleaning. I'd really like to keep it. I'll probably replace both the seats because something this big, my wife will go with me. Does have air brakes. And they're brand new and they are touchy. The odometer is setting at 432, 811. It's got a pretty good size radio in it there. Move back here to the back. The sleeper. It's got storage up top. 
It's a good place there to hang your clothes, whatever else you want to put in it. Stand for a TV, back window with a cover over it. Pretty much the same thing on this side. It's a place to put your clothes, storage all above it. Best thing about this one. I'm six foot tall. I'm standing up, still got a foot to go. You can see all the different storage in here. This will be a cold start. Hasn't been started today. sound in the truck. Sounds like a diesel. He does have another fuel pump installed on the outside. And he's got that fuel pump pressure monitor there so you can monitor the fuel pump because he said something about the actual fuel pump on these trucks. So he supplements it with that and when the fuel pressure on that one starts getting weak he changes that pump out and helps save the actual one on the truck he said which is a pain to change so but that's just a quick video and a little rundown of the uh truck and i will let you guys know what we decide to do with it